Well, listen, it's a really chilly evening out there, much different than earlier today. Yeah, we saw some snow er earlier today, pretty much cleared out. But then the concern, and David James is joining us now, was the, the refreeze, David, right on, on the roads and the sidewalks? Yeah, the salt only works down to about 15 degrees or so. So we're below that now. So things are freezing up again from where they melted earlier today. And, of course, uh, you talked about the huge problems that are expected out on the East Coast. The little weather system went through here is going to kind of reinforce the low pressure area that's forming now and going to track up just off the East Coast of the United States, and that's a terrible track for uh, producing some uh, big snowfall amounts right along the coast. So there are blizzard warnings out all over the place. Uh, this dark blue area, those are all the cities and areas that have blizzard warnings out. So not only snow, uh, maybe a foot or snow all the way from around Dover up through Philadelphia, not in New York City, but out on Long Island and certainly all around the city of Boston. And this is going to go all through the weekend, the blizzard warning all the way down into Delaware and then up the east. East Coast, uh, the blue areas out on Long Island, they're expecting maybe two feet, maybe up to three feet of snow in Boston with 40 uh, mile per hour winds. And then there are other watches and warnings out to, into the inland. So a big storm out on the East Coast really going to cause some big problems until Monday when it finally starts to clear up. Now we had some snow here earlier today, just a narrow band through the midsection of the state. So up at Westfield, 2.8 inches, 2.3 at Carmel, uh, two inches at Anderson. But up at Lafayette, only eight tenths of an inch and down at Columbus only eight tenths of an inch so it was a pretty narrow area but now we've got uh, two more cold nights coming up so sunshine will help us out a little bit this weekend but it only can do so much we're starting so cold tomorrow morning but it will be warming looks like back into the 40s by Monday outside right now we're a long way from that and we're heading in the wrong direction it's down to nine and we do have a northwest wind at eight miles per hour so it feels like three below hopefully you don't have to head out but if you do uh, bundle up here's that situation on the roadways uh, through the rest of tonight and most of the day tomorrow, too. Of course, the crews were out there uh, bright and early spreading the salt today, and that kept things from getting too slippery. But that uh, only salt is only working down to about 15 to 20 degrees, and we're below that now. So watch out for the refreeze and some black ice uh, through the night tonight and into tomorrow morning before it starts to melt once again on Sunday. So 8 degrees uh, for the temperature right now for the overnight low temperature and only up to about 26 for the high temperature tomorrow afternoon. Here's that snow area that was around earlier and you can see moving out of the picture except still some lake effect snow going on up in the uh, northern part of Indiana. And here's that low pressure area. Right now a lot of rain with it but it'll turn into snow as it heads up the east coast here in the next couple days. Our weather will stay pretty quiet. A little bit of a weather system comes through uh, the second half of the weekend but uh, your Peterman Brothers heating and cooling forecast keeps our weather pattern pretty quiet here for the next couple of days. Starts out really cold down tomorrow morning about 8 degrees, but into the 30s on Sunday, into the 40s on Monday. And then the next weather system could even start out as a little bit of rain and then change to snow later on in the week. We're definitely keeping an eye on that weather system for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We'll check it out.